And right now we do have warnings along the Mississippi River for flooding because we're already in flood stage in all of these locations here uh, from the Twin Cities on down to the south. And we're going to continue to see the river rise with crest. The top levels expected between April 26th to May 10th. And the water that's coming downstream is from snow melt. We also have the addition of any thunderstorm activity and snow from the last week or so, and especially the heavy rain of the last two days. So we are expecting some moderate to major flood stage rises, um, moderate flood stage in Lansing, Linksville, um, Wisconsin and Guttenberg, Iowa. We then have the crest getting close to a record in McGregor uh, expected to be between 24 to 25 feet and just shy possibly or close to the record from 1965. Then Dubuque of the railroad bridge expected to see a crest into major flood stage close to the record of 65. The good news in Dubuque is that they have a lot of flood protection that's been built up. that's permanent, but in areas like Clayton, um, McGregor, Marquette, uh, there are some spots there that could have some big impacts because of the water coming up and they're putting some temporary protection in place and do have a levy uh, that can protect to a certain point. But we do have, thankfully, some quiet weather around here right now. Cooler air has come in behind yesterday's system. Low pressure swirling to the north is going to keep things cool this weekend. And uh, with the cooler air, we tend to have drier air as well, which is going to be the best case scenario in the days leading up to the crest on the river. We have temperatures that are sitting right now in the 30s to around 40 degrees. The sun is out right now but clouds will be building in this afternoon. Temperatures are only going to be in the 50s and it will be breezy. As we head through the next couple of days, we are going to have the chance of seeing some maybe sprinkles or flurries, but not much that would actually accumulate. Just might see it here and there as these clouds rotate in and that low pressure system gets a little closer. We'll have clouds around on Saturday and some pretty cool air around. And then at night over the next couple of days, we are going to have the potential of seeing freezing temperatures. So freeze warnings and watches have been posted as temperatures are going to be down near and below that freezing mark that could lead to some damage to any sensitive plants or flowers out there. So just something to keep in mind if anything's bloomed or you've maybe set some things outside because of the nicer weather recently. Uh, just uh, going to be a couple of nights here where we're down uh, at or below 32. We're going to have days that are going to be chilly as well in the 40s and 50s and well below normal. We'll be dry through the weekend. Slight chance that we do see some sprinkles here and there and then watching the chance for some rain on Tuesday morning. But hopefully we do stay dry up until the river crests and comes back down. Temperatures too are going to be gradually rising as we head into next week.